You see it right there. A lot of people in need of help and hope right now. And for every person who needs that, there always seems to be someone there to give it to them. So tonight, we want to give you some hope by introducing you to the helpers we met this week in Southern California. We're Americans. And as Americans, we got to take care of each other. They are good people to us. And this is a really great uh, way to help other people. At least it gives a little hope to families who really need it right now. A little hope is something a lot of us need right now. It's the only thing so many of us are holding on to. What started out as 175 meals a day has now grown to 1,400 meals a day. We strongly believe in the fact that no one should go hungry. And that fact alone is what's driving Southern Californians to help those who really need it. One of those helpers you may recognize. You and Courtney, you guys founded JTF. You've been partnering with Dream Center. Uh, we've seen Dream Center feed children during these tough times. There are well over 500,000 meals that they've served already, and uh, it's been going great. There's a lot of people like myself, like us, that really do need it for children that we have at home. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you for everything you continue to do for the Dream Center. God bless you and your family. Go Dodgers. Go Blue. This week is about finding new ways to enjoy life. The circus, though, shut down. Until tomorrow, that is, when the curtains rise again on a virtual show for real-life viewers. We're still alive, we're still here, and we're going to be coming more stronger than ever. We had people from out of state donate goggles to those on our front lines. This is a sound of hope landing for Southern California healthcare workers. But also that little bit of hope that comes from either A, helping somebody, or B, being helped. All right, come on out, love you. We saw teachers bring graduation to their students. They're just expressing their love for all my classmates, for me, and it just, it just made me really happy. Oh my goodness. And for a family going through something unthinkable, you showed why, even when we're forced to be apart, we still find ways to come together. Their faces say it all. A community came together to surprise Catherine Stefan and Carlos Pongo. They lost their son, Marine Gunnery Sergeant Diego Pongo, on March 8th. Thank you very much. We miss our son so much. If you want to reduce your own pain and suffering, the best way to do that is to help someone else. To see smiles on their face tonight, there is no words. To see the, the happiness just to be together is just unbelievable. How lucky are we to have so many good people here in Southern California? Look, we want to keep sharing more of your positive and inspiring stories. Remember to submit them at NBCLA.com slash Corona Kindness.